Hey, this is just a real quick recording to show you how to export a question bank in Moodle so you can share with other people in an apartment. So I have a question or I have a, uh, a course right here. Uh, this is uh, this is a social studies course and we have multiple teachers who use the same content and they want to be able to share a test between them. So uh, this is the this is a good process for you to do that. Uh, what you need to do is first sign into your course. And then uh, this is the person who created the questions. Signs into the course, clicks on a little gear, and then go down here to more. And then you want to scroll down to your question bank, and you see this little option right here that says export. From here then, we want to pick Moodle XML format. Uh, that's going to give us all of, the, all of the questions that we're looking to put in. And then uh, the really important thing here is that you have built your question inside a, its own category. So we see right here we want to bring Chapter 1 test questions. They've been created in their own category, which means that it makes it a lot easier for us to, uh, to pull that information out. So this has been set up properly and in the correct way. Uh, if you don't have your questions in a category, you're going to want to put them in their own category so that you can do this. So I'm going to click on Chapter 1 Questions. I'm going to write the category to the file, and I'm also going to write the context to the file. Leave those, box checked, those boxes checked. And then I'm going to click Export Questions to File. Now, uh, and then it's going to prompt me to download, um, to download an XML file. So if I just delete those things, that's uh, extra information that I don't necessarily need. I'm going to delete that off of my file name. I have Chapter 1 Test Questions. I'm going to click Save, and now that's been put in here. Now, one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that uh, when you are downloading these questions, if there are any images or anything involved with them, uh, then those are not going to be, uh, images are not going to show up. So it's going to come across like something like this. Uh, if, you, if you go in, this is what an XML document looks like. Okay, so uh, it's not going to pull in any images or anything. If you have images uh, that are not linked by a URL, you've uploaded them directly into the uh, into the question, then those need to be adjusted. Uh, just keep that in mind as you're building your questions. It makes a difference if you instead of putting uh, instead of putting the objects in there, uh, like uploading the images, if you connect them with a web link, that makes a difference because then it'll import those things in that way. Uh, if you have URLs, YouTube videos, that kind of stuff, then that should come through no problem. You shouldn't have any issues. Uh, so that's it. That's how this works. If you have any additional questions, just let me know.